What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jill and today I'm going to attempt to follow one of my own makeup tutorials. More specifically, the very first makeup tutorial that was ever on my channel. So a few things, one, I'm mortified that I ever uploaded these. Two, they are very much privated now. And three, just a disclaimer, in my very first makeup tutorial, I don't show my foundation routine. So I'm using my very first foundation makeup tutorial and then I'll go back to my very first makeup tutorial where I show my eyes. Also, I am trying to use similar products to what I use in these videos, but not all of them are exact because obviously I don't have all of the same makeup. So anyway, now I'm just procrastinating because I'm embarrassed to do this. So I guess let's get going. Okay, so I don't have the same Urban Decay setting spray anymore, but I do have an Urban Decay setting spray. This is just the D-Slick one. So I'm gonna spray that. Okay, this Glamouflage Concealer. I loved this stuff, they sold it at Walmart and I was obsessed with it. It really did have great coverage, but I don't have it anymore. <laughs> so I am just gonna use my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I know this is what I already use every day, but I feel like it's pretty similar in coverage. So yeah, I use this like all over my face. I don't really need it. Well, I guess whatever, we're just gonna do what I did. Feels weird putting concealer on first. That's not what I do anymore. Oh, right, also, I put a little on the back of my hand. I said less than a pea size amount. Okay, okay, that's all I said to use, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> God, Jill. Okay, a BB cream. So I actually love this Dr. Jart BB cream still, but I don't have any of it. So I'm gonna use this Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I feel like it'll be similar-ish. And then I used a bigger buffing brush back then to apply this, but I don't have a big one anymore, so I'm just using this smaller one. And then I think I did tapping motions, sort of like this. I haven't used a brush to apply foundation in so long. I'm used to using really dewy products on my skin now, and this is not quite as dewy. It looks pretty strange on my skin. Okay, I don't have any concealers like this anymore that have the little brush on it like that, but I do have this which has a brush on it. Again, I have no clue if this is gonna match my skin, but we're gonna try. So I think I apply it like that sort of on both sides. Okay, and then I literally just used my finger to blend it in, which is the same thing that I do now. Okay, I'm actually not like too mad at the way this is looking so far. I mean, my skin I would definitely do differently, but it's not bad. Okay, and now I use loose powder underneath my eyes. I never set my underneath anymore, so that's weird for me. Um, I have this Pixie loose powder. Oh, I didn't realize it was like in a puff thing like this. And I just use a big fluffy brush, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Kate's setting my under eyes with powder now. Okay, now we're gonna switch over to our eye makeup tutorial, which is called Holiday Makeup Sugar Plum Fairy. Okay, right, so I'm starting with this cream base, which I actually don't own anymore, but I have this other one from CoverGirl. It's sort of like a shimmery cream base, so I'm thinking I could probably get the same effect. It's a little bit more gold than the one that I used, but that's okay. Okay, so now I take just a like cream color, and I'm just gonna take a cream color, like what I think I'm using in the video. I don't show the colors on camera, so it's hard to tell, but I think this seems right, and I think I just put it like on this inner corner area here. I used to put so much more effort into my makeup bag then. Now I'm like, nah, whatever. Okay, now I take a different brush in a light pink and I put that, I say this to help it blend, but I don't even see anything happen in the video when I apply this. Nor do I really see anything happen on my eye when I apply it now, so I think I was just being extra. So then I go with the like plum color and I put it like on this outer corner. It's just like, I would never really wear a makeup look like this anymore, so it's like, I just like to keep it more simple. So those colors ended up looking brown, like they're not even purple on my lid. I straight up used a purple color, still showed up brown. Okay, too bad for me. Oh yeah, okay. So then I take a tiny little brush and a dark purple and put that over here and I say, don't worry about blending it out because we'll do it later. Great. Okay, and then I go back in with the same blending brush and just blend it all together. What next, Jill? Come on. And I just freshen up the cream color again. <laughs> My cream color is still pretty fresh, but if that's what young me wants me to do, that's what I'm gonna do. Look at those brows too. Whew. 
See, even back then I didn't want to have to deal with eyeliner, so I was using eyeshadow. That has not changed. And applying. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so much fallout under my eye. What the heck? It's ruining my makeup. Okay, nothing along the lower lashes, and we're gonna apply mascara now. Okay, on to the face. So I actually still have this same palette. Please don't yell at me for expired makeup. I don't use it, but I do still have it. But I don't show what color I use because I'm a dummy. This seems like the lightest brown color that's in here, so I'm gonna go ahead with that. Okay, I just sort of apply it like that, I think. Why do I use such a big brush for this? And then I say that I take a purpley color, which I'm guessing is this, and a brown. So I'm grab some of that, maybe. And apply that also. Oh, that's a lot on my cheeks. This foundation really accentuates my acne scarring. It's terrible. Also, like, my zits don't even have any coverage. Okay, apparently I don't do anything to my eyebrows, which was a mistake, because did you see them? But on to the lips. So first I apply some sort of, like, lighter red. So I have a similar thing, I think, here. Oh, this is way more than, than... Okay, so I'm just gonna, like, diffuse this with my finger. And now for the main event, which are the plum lips. I still have that same color, this Kat Von D lipstick. Like, who did I think I was even buying this color? Let alone, like, wearing it? I just don't understand. But okay, here we go. Oh my god. Oh god. There it is. I didn't even do a good job. Like, I did a better job of applying the lipstick now when I'm, like, trying to make this joke than I did in this video when I was trying to be serious. This lipstick is so messy, but there's no way of applying this in a clean way. <laughs> I keep seeing myself in here, and I'm like, who do I think I am? Oh my gosh. Overall, though, I feel like my makeup looks better now than it did then. And, like, now I'm trying to make it a joke, and then I was trying to be serious, so... Uh. Even in the video, you can tell, like, this lipstick does not go on smoothly. Like in the video, it's so bad. Oh my God. But here's my makeup now versus my makeup back then. Let me know what you think if I did a good job following my tutorial. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the glow up because I think it's been real. This was like back when I lived in New Jersey. So even the glow up since I moved to LA has been real. So since I lived in New Jersey, that's a whole other level. I have literally no clue how I had friends. I should be nice to young Jill. She really did mean well. Just wasn't good. It wasn't for her. This lipstick makes my teeth look really white though. Pearly. So there you have it. This is the way that I thought makeup should be worn back then. Uh, I mean, overall, I'm not that mad at it, but I would just never, ever, ever wear my makeup like this anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.